the the coaches and agents that would write me a handwritten note that always meant more, you know, because it's obvious that they sat down and took the time to send a handwritten note. This is Tools of the Podcast Trade, where you can learn about the tools and resources you can use to start and grow your podcast. Tune in each week as we talk about the help you need to remove the mystery from podcasting so you can become a successful podcaster that can reach your audience where they are. My guest today is founder and CEO Rick Elmore. Thank you for coming and talking to me today, Rick, on Tools of the Podcast Trade. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me here today, Jen. I appreciate it. Sure. And before I start, I'm going to tell you, I'm in an Airbnb in Mexico. And for some reason, you know, this is the only time that it gets loud right here. So, okay. <laughs> no worries. Okay. So before we start, I want to ask you to tell us who is Rick El? Yeah. So my background's in athletics. I played college and professional sports. I played at the University of Arizona was lucky to have a pretty good career there, three-year starter under Mike Stoops, and then was drafted into the NFL in 2010 and played for a few different teams over three years. And then I got done and went into corporate medical sales, did that for about six years, was rookie of the year my, my first year, and then was top 1% or top five reps in the company for my last five years. In 2017, I just you know, there, I just felt like there was something more. So I went back and did my MBA at the University of Arizona. And that's where my current business, Simply Noted, began. I was in a, a marketing class and I had a professor just talking about the success rates in marketing and everything was super nominal, you know, very low, you know, cold calling, direct mail, email, knocking doors. It was all like single digit success rates. And then the professor ended the, the lecture, you know, kind of half-heartedly joking, saying handwritten notes had a 99% open rate. And I just thought that was just like such a no-brainer. And long story short, you know, four and a half years later, here we are, built a pretty, pretty good thriving business on the backbone of scaling and automating handwritten notes for businesses. Wow, that's interesting. Handwriting, huh? Well, it's a strange thing, but I know it it must be a nice thing because when I get my guests send me a handwritten note, I actually open it. <laughs> I don't, yeah, you know, exactly. I don't even think about it twice. Yeah. I do it. Well, yeah, so. yeah, it's a lot more rare, right? If you think about it, you only receive a few of those a year, you know, versus the hundred plus emails you receive a day, or the fifty plus text messages you receive a day, or the four thousand plus notifications your phone gets a month, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I think uh, handwritten notes are going to make a resurgence here into the business world. We've just tried to create a platform to make it easy for businesses to use us. So what we've done is created the best handwriting robot in the world. Over the last four years, we've invested over $850,000 in creating our own handwriting robot from the ground up. We're going to have six U.S. patents on it. That's three design, three utility. So there's nothing else like it in the world. And the reason we did that was to ensure that the handwriting quality um, capacity throughput production was the best out there. And that's what we've done. Yeah. Awesome. I think that's a great idea, but you already know that. And, <laughs> and, given, and, and given our audience, women, I think it's a very, it's a very useful tool, marketing tool for mm -hmm. us uh, to have uh, when we get all touch your feely. So yeah. 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 All right. Well, it's so, all about relationships, right? Uh huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's building those stronger relationships. You know, without relationships, businesses wouldn't be stable and be able to thrive and grow because your customers would just be leaving all the time. So at the heart of our yes. company, that's what we're trying to do is help you automate and scale your relationships through something impactful, tangible, real, handwritten, because there's yes. just nothing else out there like it. Like, yes. when's the last time you printed out a, a text message, you know, your client sent you saying thank you and, and hung it up on your fridge, like, <laughs> Never. Right. And these yeah. handwritten notes have, you know, long shelf lives, you know, people appreciate them and they keep them because they're like gifts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I can relate to that. So. <laughs> All right. So tell me, this is yeah. a show for podcasters. And I, the first thing I thought about when I read your, you know, your bio was that, wow, I would love uh -huh. to send this to my audience you know mm -hmm. so tell us how your system works tell us how you know 
someone could use your system to, you know, expand their marketing abilities. Yeah. So uh, if you think you have like a CRM or like, you know, a, a booking link like Calendly or a booking link through Salesforce or HubSpot, you know, think of those things that are triggers, right? When someone pays an invoice or there's a new client and they sign up on your e-commerce website, or when someone goes to like your lead capture form and fills out a form, whenever something like that happens, so like an event or a trigger, we can automate sending a handwritten note for you. So it's completely done for you without you thinking about it on time in a timely manner with a great technology um, that's a you know, beautiful cardstock, beautiful envelope, and we help you automate it. So if you think about, you know, after the show is completed, once you would mark it done in like your CRM, as long as all the data is within your CRM, you can set up a trigger to send a thank you note for being a guest on your podcast. Most of the people that use our platform, you know, they'll automate through Zapier, Integrately, um, you know, an API integration, a webhook. So that's more of like the people who have a little bit of more of an advanced marketing, like understanding. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy to set up. It's just really understanding what you want to accomplish. So what do I want to automate? And then you contact us and we help you figure it out. But how most people use us, like right now it's November and it's the holidays. You know, it's like a no brainer reason to, to reach out to your clients. You know, we are a tool, just like everything else you have in your business. You have an email tool, you have a dialing tool, you have a CRM tool, a handwritten note's just a tool. It's just a strong relationship building tool. So like during the holidays, it's just a, an easy reason, a no brainer reason to reach out to your clients. So Something like a holiday card, you know, that's why, you know, our, our holidays are so busy because a lot of businesses use us during that time. Makes sense. So I have an existing email list. I, I is just a general person mm -hmm. right now. How can your, you know, your service help that person? Because it's so if an, you have email an email list. list um, so an email list, you'd have to do a reverse lookup. There's a lot of great services out there that can actually match an email to a mailing address. So what we would do is use a reverse lookup tool, take that email list, find the address that's associated with that email list. And then what we would do from there to further verify it is run through the NCOA, which is the national change of address. So if someone has moved in the last 30 days or in the last three years or 10 years, depending on how long you've had that email address, we would actually be able to tell you their most current and accurate mailing address. So that's kind of getting into the weeds, but really what we do is help people um, understand that if you want to send a handwritten note, there's a service out there like Simply Noted that can help you automate it or scale it. Um, and yeah, we try to make it as easy as possible for our clients. Yeah, I think that's awesome. So uh, Simply Noted. And I did ask that because that's what we, we've we always been encouraged to do. Collect the email, collect the email. Mm -hmm. And we have a first name, maybe you're in the last mm -hmm. name. So, you know, I wanted to see how that worked for, you know, the people who were. Yeah. Just I mean, we've had to figure out, we've had to figure out so many little, <laughs> so many little yes. nuances like that in building this company. But what we say is that if there's a will, there's a way, just contact us and we'll help you figure it out. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. And I'm going to go back. You know, you went to, you did an MBA and mm -hmm. this one little thing. What made you gravitate toward that one little thing? Because I'm sure there were yeah. other ideas. Yeah, so that, that's a great idea. So I was in a sales position at the time. So I was trying to think of ways that would like, everything I was learning in my MBA, I was trying to apply to what I was doing at the time to make me more successful. You know, my background, mm -hmm. again, is in athletics. So a lot of my intangible skills were like work ethic, grit, drive, you know, perseverance, these things that, you know, can help someone be successful by just basically working hard. And um, I was trying to learn, you know, some additional tools when I went and did my MBA. But handwritten notes, I grew up in like the generation when, you know, cell phones are still kind of new. I didn't get a cell phone until I was 16. So I wrote handwritten notes to my friends all the time. I still have a, a box of, of handwritten notes, I, you know, that I kept from like my middle school and high school years. Also, when I got recruited to go play in, in the college or even in the NFL when I was getting recruited by agents, the, the coaches and agents that would write me a handwritten note that always meant more, you know, because it's obvious that they sat down and took the time to send a handwritten note. Um, mm -hmm. And I would always show it off. Like, you know, like if I was in high school, like, look, you know, a coach from USC just sent me a handwritten note. And I was like, I always felt really proud of that, you know. And when I left the, the 49ers in 2012, um, Coach Jim Harbaugh 
he actually was a coach at Stanford when I was at U of A, Arizona. Um, so I played against him for five years. So we always kind of had like this little fun little bat- banter back and forth just about being like, you know, old competitors. But uh, when I left the, the 49ers, he sent me a handwritten note. And I thought that was just so powerful. You know, I was a 24-year-old kid, 25 at the time. And that's actually a keepsake. That's literally in one of my, you know, keepsake boxes in my office. You know, I'm going to show my kids that. You know, I have a three and five-year-old when they get older, just how, how cool that was. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create those magical, powerful moments at scale for people mm-hmm. because, you know, people want to do it. They really do. But we just live in such a, an inundated, you know, a digital world now where everything has to be done now. Someone can call you in a second. If you don't respond in minutes, they're mad at you, right? So even if people have the best intentions to sit down and write a handwritten note, there's a million reasons why they're not going to get it done. It can be work, it can be email, it can be family, personal health, kids, you know, traffic on the way home. Oh, I don't have stamps, right? Oh, my pen, I don't know where a good pen is, right? So we're trying to remove all the roadblocks and make it as easy as possible for any business that works with us to thrive in their business by building better relationships with their clients. Because that's going to increase lifetime value. That's going to get more referrals, better reviews. And there's actually a cool American Express uh, study that was recently done saying if you just increase your retention rate of your clients by 5%, which is not a lot, your year to year over year revenue will climb 25 to 95%, which makes sense. Because if you know if you can retain five percent of like your big business accounts, think about that. How's that going to affect your bottom line year over year? And yeah. also, what they found out was um, one third. So thirty three percent of your clients don't feel any tor- any kind of loyalty towards your brand um, because they don't they didn't have a good customer experience or they didn't have a relationship with the business. So one third of your business. So out of 100 clients, 33 of your clients are, you know, don't feel loyal to you. And if they're going to buy again, they're going to shop around because they don't feel loyal. So imagine trying to, you know, keep that leaky bucket filled every single year off of something that is so easy to do if you just know how to do it. And by just creating that bond and that relationship with your clients. So that's what we're trying to do. We're, We're a remarkable sales tool as well for like booking appointments. But we really try to tell people it's the relationship that matters, you know, at the end of the day, just say thank you, because that thank you is going to have an ROI, you know, 100 times over than that, that outreach salesy type of pitch letter. Absolutely, absolutely. I could, I could see that getting a lot of usage from people who are really interested in their clients. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, thank you. All right. So how can we get in touch with you? Tell us about, you know, your social media handles, your website, and anything more you want to tell us about the product itself. So I'm on LinkedIn all day. So if you go to LinkedIn, excuse me, if you go to LinkedIn and look up Rick Elmore or Simply Noted, you'll be able to find me really easily. Or if you go to simplynoted.com, just how it's spelled, S-I-M as in Mary P-L-Y noted.com. Um, just send your first card for free. It's on us. The, the coupon code or checkout code is one, the number one, then F R E E all caps. And you can send a card on us, or you can go to our business page and request a nice sample kit. We do a really good job at sending out this sample kit with a bunch of, you know, examples, flyers, writing styles, case studies, you know, answering a lot of questions that people normally have. Plus you get a really good idea of how you know phenomenal this, this writing robot technology is and the quality of our paper and pens as well. So yeah, I would just say go to the LinkedIn or visit our website. Okay. Thank you. And what is Rick grateful for today? My health, 100%, my health and my family, the older I get, I, I realize that's what's uh, most important. Okay. All right. And what has been your biggest struggle as far as not just this business, but in finding your way to that business that maybe is the one you want to be involved in right now? Well, one of my biggest struggles is uh, patience. You know, I I just work so, and like a lot of people, they work really hard and they want things to happen, you know, sooner, but things happen when they're supposed to happen. So patience is something, um, you know, I'm constantly working on and it's a tough skill to master. But yeah, there's a ton of business ideas that I have, but I'm always about finishing, not quitting, not giving up. So 
there's a lot of work here to be done, but I do have the intentions to to exit Simply Noted someday. And there are some fun, cool business ideas that I do have, you know, that I've discovered while running and growing and learning this business as well. Okay, thank you. So finish what you start and persevere, mm -hmm. right? Okay, anything else? Absolutely. No, I think that's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I thank you very much, Rick Elmore, CEO of Simply Noted, um, for coming and talking to us today. I really appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Thank you so much. Okay. Got questions about podcasting? Do you find yourself struggling with the tools and strategies that you know will help you launch and grow your show? Why not join the New West Podcasters Club where you can get your questions answered by me or one of our guest experts. The link to our next meeting is below. Sign up today and don't let confusion about podcasting stop you from owning your genius. Whether you're an individual or a nonprofit, the New West Podcasters Club is where podcasters come for answers. Link below for our next meeting.